All right, so I want to make a quick video of how I'm going to convert this 1959 Johnson QD20 10 horsepower uh, motor from a dual line carburetor and gas tank system to a single line. This right here is the old dual line um, gas connection. And you see it has two lines. One of them runs to the carburetor at this junction, and the other one runs right here to this nipple and this nipple is what pressurizes one of these lines not this line through the connection goes to the gas tank pressurizes the gas tank and pumps fuel up through the second line into the carburetor and that's what keeps the carburetor primed and the engine running the single line doesn't use this nipple right here it uses a fuel pump to pump the line or the to pump or siphon the gas up from the gas tank and into this nipple. And that fuel pump can bolt on to here. Now this is a newer plate. The old plate or the original plate looks exactly like this one right here, except it was up here. But what you can do is buy one of these plates off of say a 19, 62 Johnson 10 horsepower and replace the original with this one bolt a um, Fuel pump to here. This is the port that uses the crankcase to siphon the fuel out of the gas tank It'll siphon the uh, gas Through this fuel connection Through one side and then out the other side. It'll run around here and in To this and this will no longer be used. So what you need to do, what you have to do, is block this off. And what you could do is just take a short piece of fuel line, slide it over there, put a band clamp around it to get a good seal here, and then screw a, a, a screw, a big screw, into the other end and just make sure it seals it off very well. And that'll block that off and um, keep that pressure there. Otherwise, the pressure is lost in there and it, and it won't stay cranked. So that's an easy way to convert, at least on this motor, from a dual line gas system to a new fuel pump single line. And that gets away from having to have the old style gas tank with this motor. Now you can use the new style plastic gas tanks with this motor and it's much, much more universal. You don't have to make sure you always have the old timey metal gas tanks, you know, and then make sure those are in good condition. You can buy a new gas tank, a newer style with the newer fittings, which are at Walmart or Academy or really anywhere. So I hope this helps. I'll leave the part number for this part in the description. And uh, I don't know. I hope this helps. Thank you.